muscle is the largest organ that accounts for 40% of body mass and plays an essential role in maintaining our lives. Muscle tissue is notable for its unique ability for spontaneous regeneration. However, in serious injuries such as those sustained in car accidents or tumor resection which results in a volumetric muscle loss, the muscle's ability to recover is greatly diminished. Currently, treatments for muscle loss include surgical grafts accompanied by physical therapy. However, surgical procedures often lead to a reduced muscular function, and in some cases result in a complete graft failure. Thus, there is a demand for additional therapeutic options to improve muscle loss recovery. To overcome these challenges, our research team at the Institute for Basic Science devised a new treatment that can regenerate lost muscle. The treatment employs direct cell reprogramming technology on patient-derived cells. First, fibroblasts are obtained from a tissue biopsy. Fibroblasts are the cells that are commonly found within the connective tissues, and they are extensively involved in wound healing. As the fibroblasts are not terminally differentiated cells, it is possible to turn them into induced myogenic progenitor cells using several different transcription factors. These cells can be transplanted into the injury site to grow into muscle tissues. For these transplanted cells to properly differentiate into muscle tissues with desirable structures, it is necessary to control the three-dimensional microenvironment at the injury site. This is done by constructing a mesh-like scaffold that the cells can attach and grow onto. This is a similar analogy to scaffolds that are used when constructing a building. A variety of materials have been used for these scaffolds. Scaffolds built using natural materials have high cell binding affinity, but have weak mechanical strength, which makes them unsuitable for load-bearing muscles. In contrast, synthetic materials are great in terms of mechanical properties, but they suffer from poor integration with host tissue. To get the best of both worlds, our research group built a hybrid natural synthetic scaffold. For this, a highly porous thermally drawn polycaprolactone was produced as a base material for the scaffold. The scaffold was then incorporated with decellularized muscle extracellular matrix, which is a widely used natural biomaterial in tissue engineering. Our group seeded the induced myogenic progenitor cells into the new hybrid scaffolds. They were then implanted into mice whose leg muscles were destroyed. These mice were able to successfully regenerate their lost muscles, as well as the nerves and blood vessels. In the end, the mice regained most of their lost motor functions. Our researchers note, further studies are required to elucidate the mechanisms of muscle regeneration by our hybrid constructs, and to empower the clinical translation of cell instructive delivery platforms. This video was provided by the Institute for Basic Science. Please support us by liking our videos and subscribing to our channel. For more information, please visit our homepage, Facebook, or Twitter in the links below.